Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. <laughs>
my number six pick is going to go to Shatterstar from the X-Men wave. I believe he was also part of the Warlock Build-A-Figure, and I'm a big X-Force fan, and this really looks like the character from I what I remember in the 90s. I love the leather on it, the swords. Everything about this sculpt is awesome sauce, and that's why it's number six on this list. Now, if only we can get a Rob Liefeld cable and domino to go with this awesome-looking sculpt. I'd be happy. I could die happy. I could. Rounding out the top five is going to be the Walmart exclusive Captain America Civil War Falcon. This is an utterly amazing figure, and this is the Falcon we should have got initially, but uh, we didn't. Uh, th this makes up for it, though. The wingspan on this is awesome. I love it. I wish it was articulated, though. Um, I think the sculpt looks like the actor, which is really, really nice. We do get uh, the drone, but uh, it really can't do much. It should have come with a flight stand or something. But uh, overall, I mean, this is a great figure. Definitely the Falcon that I was wanting for my 6-inch scale. And uh, we got it. So, hey, thanks, Walmart. My number four pick is going to go to Hela from Thor Ragnarok. This was a figure I really didn't think much until I saw it in hand, and the sculpt and paintwork on this is amazing. Uh, it looks like the actress. Uh, it comes with uh, two heads, which is awesome, masked and unmasked, and the, uh, even the masked helmet looks like she did in the movie, and this is a great homage to the comic book version. I think they did a great job of bringing uh, the character to life onto the screen. Um, and the paint detail and the Kate Blanchett head sculpt is just really, really nice. The sword is a little warped. I can heat that up and fix it. But overall, this was a surprise wonder in my collection and a fantastic find. I passed it up once and I couldn't do it a second time. And that's why it's in my top 10. My number three pick is going to go to not really technically a Marvel legend. It's more of a Spider-Man classics. It's the Spider-Hulk. And while this really isn't a Marvel legend, it's so close. And this is where the Marvel legends really came from are the Toys Biz classic lines that evolved into the Marvel legends. I had to include this in, plus how I stumbled across this figure. This was one that I had been wanting to get into my collection and the itch for it had been growing and growing. And I didn't want to pay the ridiculous prices that this guy goes for online. And I was at my local flea market and found it in a box for $5 and I couldn't pass it up and I'm so glad that I picked it up uh, you know it makes a great Hulk in my uh, Marvel Legends collection as well as a great Spider-Man in the Marvel Legends collection uh, I, I'd love to see this redone in a modern Marvel Legend build a figure I think that would be fantastic but this is definitely a piece that collectors strive to look for and you know for five dollars I couldn't pass it up and that's why it has got to go in this top 10 list especially rounding out the top three do you blame me My number two pick is going to go to Deadpool from the X-Men Juggernaut Build-A-Figure series. Now a huge shout out to my buddy CC. Thank you so much, sir. I've never actually seen this figure in the wild. I got this in a trade and um, I'm really, really glad to get this figure in the collection because this is one I really did want. I think it nails the comic book and the movie version of the character perfectly. It comes with a ton of accessories and uh, he didn't come with anything for the Juggernaut figure. He was kind of a bonus figure, which I liked. And the box art was kind of fun too. And uh, he he initially was going to be number one on the list, but after looking at some things, uh, he did get bumped back to number two, but that's okay. I mean, this is a fantastic Deadpool, and I'm interested in a few other versions from different companies out there, but this may be the best Deadpool figure on the market. It's definitely better than the uh, exclusive from GameStop that we'd got, which was essentially a kit bash, which I don't mind that. It just kind of felt cheap, whereas this feels solid on all fronts and I absolutely love this figure if you see it just buy it and that's why he's number two
Before I reveal my number one pick for Marvel Legend of 2017, I wanted to give an honorable mention to the She-Hulk figure from the Toys R Us exclusive A-Force set. This is actually the figure that I wanted to get and the reason I bought the A-Force set, which I found over at uh, Half Price Books for $40 yesterday, by the way, at the time of this recording. I uh, <laughs> wish I would have waited, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, and I really do like the figure. I think it looks good and looks like the character and sculpted well. I, I think the face, though, is a little underwhelming to me. I wanted more. Maybe I had my hopes up too high, but I really wish that we would have gotten an alternate head. Uh, with this figure with her smiling like she does on the covers of the comics so often I think that would have been a lot uh, cooler and probably would have saved her to the top 10 list because she was there but uh, after looking at the figures again Lady Loki just barely bumped her off the list but it's still a damn good figure I'm glad I've got it I just wish she would smile you're so pretty why don't you smile Jennifer and my number one pick for Marvel Legend of 2017 has got to go to Death's Head 2. Now, this was the bonus figure in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 set that had Mantis as the Build-A-Figure, and um, I think it was Shardimus Prime who did an interview of the designers, and this guy was actually going to be a Build-A-Figure, and you can tell the thing is huge, and it just, it's awesome. I'm so glad we got it as its own figure. It is definitely a beautiful piece, well-sculpted, looks cool. It's a great character. I loved the comic uh, that it, uh, he appeared in. I love Death's Head in the original Transformers comics, but the one uh, where it's in the future and it's the last of the heroes like Spider-Man and Punisher and Daredevil and She-Hulk and Rhino. Great comic if you haven't uh, read it. Definitely go out and get it. And uh, just absolutely genius. I really hope that we get a six-inch scale Death's Head 1 to go with this guy. We do have the three and three-quarter inch, but I'd love to see the counterpart to this guy. I mean, it is gorgeous, uh, very cool, well done, and uh, I mean, it's just, it's death set. How could you not put him in your top 10 list? And the way it was executed uh, is darn near perfect. I do wish we had an alternate hand so we didn't have the giant um, uh, spiky hand the whole time, uh, but that is really a minor grape in what is almost a perfect figure. So there it is, my top 10 list of Marvel Legends for 2017. Do you agree with my list? What were your top Marvel Legends for 2017? Add a comment down below. Uh, go to my Facebook page. Join the conversation there. Uh, thank you guys for watching all year long. I love responding to your comments. And I can't wait to kick off 2018 with each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.